Hi, I'm Greg Medora with the Oily Crafter, and today our topic will be setup and configuration of Winlink using an Anytone 878 UV2 Plus radio. Hardware that we're using today is a Windows 11 based computer, could be Windows 10, other versions. We're also using the Winlink software, which I already have installed and registered. And then we're going to be using here, we're going to be using a DigiRig uh, mobile purchase there from DigiRig and a cable set. This is a Beofang cable set is how, what they call it. But you notice right here, it's for the Anytone ATD878 UV2+. Plus. It works just fine. It has two cables. The green cable is essentially a programming cable. The black cable is the audio cable that you will use to configure between the DigiRig and your radio. Okay, so with that, let's come down here and I will I will bring the device manager up here so you can see. So when I reach up here and I plug in the USB cable that goes from the computer to the DigiRig, you'll notice that we have a COM port that shows up. It's very important for you to note that this is COM4. It will likely be different on your computer and depending upon which USB port you plug it into your computer it may very well be different. So we're going to bring uh, brought up device manager we need to bring up uh, sound settings and I will just simply show you so this originally comes in as USB PMP sound device I've gone in here and I've changed the name to DigiRig2. Here under microphone, I can rename this and we're going to call this DigiRig2. And we're going to click rename. We do this so it's very easy to uh, find and, and locate and identify, make sure that we have it set correctly. Now for proper usage of Winlink and the radio, you're going to need the DigiRig input and output selected. All right, a couple settings that I need to show you regarding these uh, sound devices that are selected. I'm going to scroll down here. We're under sound settings and we're going to click on more sound settings. So you can see this right here under playback. Highlight your DigiRig right here. Select properties. Go to levels. I'm going to start this here, but we're obviously going to change it as we need to tweak it. Enhancements, you need to have disable all enhancements turned off. Advanced, that's okay. Spatial sound, turn that off. And a recording. Again, I'm going to find my DigiRig. I'm going to select it. And notice I have that set as a default device. And then under here, under properties, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click on listen. Just those settings right there are fine. Custom, make sure AGC is turned off. Under levels, I'm going to have the microphone set somewhere around 25. We'll see where that turns out. Okay, and then this is fine on advanced. So click OK, click OK. So right here, we're going to press auto tune. You get this no signal box right here. Basically what that means is is that you're not hearing getting a response signal back from the wind link gateway. So one of the things I want to point out on the radio when we started doing the initial tuning we weren't getting any audio response back and that's quite frankly because we're using the stock antenna and we're indoors. Because of the distance between me and the wind link gateway uh, that will not work, so that's why I switched to the external antenna to be able to continue showing you how to properly tune uh, Winlink and the sound settings. Okay, we're going to uh, try a recording here again. All right, uh, test here. Uh, we need narrow because uh, this, this rig is not capable of 9600 baud, 
it's 1200 so that's why we need an error here settings I'm just going to verify PTT com com4 RTS right here I'm going to come to settings right here come to sound card we've got DigiRig 2 selected on both and we're going to select autotune Notice we can hear on the other radio, this radio is transmitting. You see the red light and the transmission light. Okay, so with that, let's pull this over here and let's see what we've got here. So we need to decrease the VU level in recording options. So it automatically popped this up. And right here, we are on the... Um, did you rig and we're going to go into properties right here and as far as the level is concerned notice this says 25 so what we're going to do is we're going to drop this let's drop it down to let's we'll just try and drop it down to about 10 and see how, how it is right here so we're going to hit 10 right there we're going to hit ok we're going to close this we're going to do an auto tune again sorry Okay, says so we still need to decrease the VU levels of recording. So again, we're going to click on DigiRig, go to Properties. We're going to go to Levels, and in this case, let's just uh, we're just going to drop this slider down. Let's drop it down to half again. So we'll put it on Vive. We're going to hit OK. Now we're going to try and do a calibration again. See what this says here. Okay, looks like the recording level is still too high. So we're going to come in here to DigiRig. We're going to select properties. We're going to select le levels. And I do have to, we'll take this down to about three and see if that will work for us. Hit OK. Come back and let's try it again. Well, it says the recording level options, so we're getting really close. So one thing we're going to try here is we're going to try and drop that down just a little bit on the radio there itself. Oops, sorry, I had that covered over. So what we did was we dropped our level from right there. We dropped it down to about right there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this again. And the reason I'm, I'm showing you these steps are is this is one thing where people get hung up on the most is, OK, it comes back and I, I'm not getting a green response. I'm not getting a good response. Well, guess what? That means I, I've got to tweak some things. So properties, see our levels here that we're on three and we're still too high so I'm going to drop it down to one here and again your settings are going to vary there's no there's no if ands or buts about it they are going to vary I've got this other handheld over here to monitor and I can hear the tones coming across so I know we're good there okay it still says the VU level is is hot so at this point, pull this over here. We're going to try and drop that down some more, and we're going to see what happens. But again, I'm going through this because I want to show you just some steps that you have to take uh, potentially to to uh, test your uh, test your settings there. says excessive audio level adjust your slider 
Okay, well, good. Now notice this, this before, this was set and, and it wasn't green, it was red. So now we finally got this green, so now we've got an excessive audio level. So now we're on playback and we're on DigiRig. We're going to go to properties and we're going to go to levels. Well, guess what? That was at 100. So let, let's drop it down here at about 80 and let's see what happens. Click OK, click OK. We're going to try it again. Okay, says we still have an excessive audio, so we're going to click on DigiRig, go to Properties, go to Levels, and we're going to drop this down, let's drop it down to about 60. And we're going to hit OK, and hit OK, and we're going to try it again. Again, this is a process of trial and error. And it says we still have excessive audio. Digirig, properties, levels. So let's drop this down. Uh, we're going to drop it down about 50. Guess what? We still have high audio. So, again, DigiRig, playback properties right here. Come to levels, and we're going to drop this down. Let's try, we're just going to try and drop it down to about 30 this time and see how that turns out. Find it useful to have a radio here in the background. To monitor transmission to make sure it's okay. See, it's still showing that the uh, that the uh, and that the audio level is still too high. So again, we're going to come in here, and now this time we're going to drop this down to about 15. And each time you do it, you it's not always going to be exactly the same every single time. So you may just you'll just have to keep playing with it, tune it. Um, especially on the radio here because the the volume on the radio here that ha will have an effect on your drive levels Okay, now we need to decrease the VU level in recording. Well, let's see where we are. I, I wanted to say we were, our levels, we were already down to one. So let's, uh, we're going to try and turn that down just a little bit more here and there on the radio itself, and we're going to see how this works out. So we've got to improve. We finally got our magic numbers. This is what you're looking for. You want all three of these to be green. Once we've got that squared away, we can close this. And now what I can do, I'm going to I'm going to kind of move some stuff around here on the screen. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to create a message here and I'm going to send it to my my friend uh, Jeff, a five me. I'm going to say uh, test, uh, I'll say win link test um, down here I'll say win link uh, test uh, using any tone 870, oops, 878 UV2 plus and digi rig uh, 
mobile. Okay, we're going to say post to outbox. And at this point now, we are I'm going to minimize this and we are going to we're going to come back. Let's move this up here so we can see us. And what I, what I do want to show you here is on Winlink Express, notice there's a one right here on the outbox. Okay, when we're done, that one is going to go away. So we're going to hit start right here. Notice we've got a transmit and a receive, and we've got a handshake down here in this corner, right down here. So we're actually communicating, sending that message. We're doing it via handheld Anytone radio using WinLink on the computer. There is no internet involved here whatsoever. Now granted that was a very short email message, but you, you get the point there of, of we are able to successfully compose an email and send an email using a handheld radio. In this case, I used an external antenna because I'm inside, I'm not outside. Um, if I was outside, I had clear line of sight, then I could potentially use the, the antenna that's on the radio itself. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring up now I want to bring this back up and I want to show you here in Outbox, it's not there. If I go to Send Items and I pull this up, guess what? Here's my message that I sent right here. So that means it's sent to the desired recipient and then he may likely respond to that uh, after he receives it. So with that, I want to say thank you for watching the, the video today. Um, we would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please feel, or comments, please feel free to leave those uh, down below the video. And uh, we will, uh, we look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. Again, uh, my name is Greg Medora. I'm with the Oily Crafter. My call sign is Alpha India 5 Hotel Victor, and we would like to wish you a blessed day. Thank you for watching.